Hi, this is Dr. Jin Sung, and welcome to the other side. I'd like to thank you for signing up for our website and our emails, and I'd also like to congratulate you for taking the first steps to restoring your health. In order to really understand thyroid dysfunction, you have to understand the normal physiology of thyroid metabolism. So today, we're going to discuss thyroid metabolism, the basics. So here we go. The thyroid gland really starts up in the brain, called the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus produces a hormone called thyroid-releasing hormone, which goes down into the pituitary gland, and the pituitary gland releases thyroid-stimulating hormone. So, right now when we talk about thyroid, we're actually just talking about the brain first. The hypothalamus produces a hormone called thyroid-releasing hormone, goes down to the pituitary gland, which is also another part of the brain, and releases thyroid-stimulating hormone. The thyroid-stimulating hormone goes to thyroid, and your thyroid releases two basic hormones called T4 and T3. T4 and T3 are produced by the thyroid. T4 is considered inactive and has minimal physiological impact, and T3 has a bigger physiological impact because it's the active form. Thyroid produces 93% of T4, and 7% of T3. So in order to have normal physiological function, you need to convert your inactive T4 produced by the thyroid and convert it to T3. There are two primary re areas where T4 can be converted to T3. The first one is liver, and the second one is gut. About 60% of T4 will go to, to the liver and convert T4 to T3. The other 20% here will go to the gut and T4 will be converted to T3. So when we look at thyroid physiology, we are, we're actually looking at brain function because the hypothalamus is impacted by two neurotransmitters called 5-HT and dopamine. Serotonin and dopamine impact the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus impacts the pituitary gland. Pituitary impacts the thyroid. Thyroid releases two hormones, T4 and T3, 93 to 7%. Majority of the T4 is converted in the liver T3 to T, uh, T4 to T3, and then 20% is converted in the gut. Why is this important? When we look at normal physiology, we have to understand where the dysfunctions can lie. If we have constant stress and it starts to impact our brain function, it can impact our thyroid gland. If we actually have primary thyroid issues, it can affect the thyroid gland. And if we have liver or gut dysfunction, it can also impact our thyroid gland. In our next video, we will discuss different dysfunctions or patterns of thyroid dysfunction. On my left side to this video, there is a uh, um, information fill-out sheet here. What you want to do is sign up for that, and we'll send you a free report and a DVD. And we can also offer you a 15-minute phone consultation free of charge to determine if this office can help you or not. Again, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.